Word, son. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jada Vine. All right, man, before we get into this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here, gathered here today in Holy Matrimony to talk about Man 24 and the reveal trailer that was dropped today about seven or eight hours ago from the time of me recording this. So make sure I sit back, chill, take a pee break, pause the video, get you some popcorn, because you know how I do. But anyway, let's get a bit to it. So first things first, man, I've seen this trailer at least frontwards and backwards at least 10 times. Okay, so um, I got a list here, so I'm just going down the list, and then we're going to break it down as we go. So um, at the top of the list, okay, so you know, in the beginning of the trailer, they talk about the face scan. You see, you know, uh, Justin Jefferson or Jay Jettas, as they call him, Jalen Hurts, Kenny Pickett, uh, Josh Allen, Travis Kelsey, Mike Evans. OK, so, you know, all right, we, we, we get the whole face scan thing, you know what I'm saying? But the part to be killing me with these face scans is you only do it to the popular players. Now, go look at FIFA for a second. Right. You look at FIFA and you see they have face scans for damn near everybody. You know what I'm saying? Out of 100%, I would say there's face scans for, I would say, probably about 90 to 95% of the players on there. And I might just be reaching. But anyway, like, majority of the time, I would see the accurate face scans for the said players. But on Madden, you guys only hark on the whole idea of who's popular and who's not. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you how many face games I've seen on Man 23 of players that aren't necessarily popular, but they're part of that team. And it's a totally different face. A totally different head on that body you know what i mean i've seen some some players that have had two of the same faces on on each player different names and everything different players but they have the same face scan you know what i'm saying so y'all can miss me with the whole face scan thing and um i i want to throw this in here too as well currently right now as i'm talking to, as i'm talking to y'all right now in this recording we are looking at about on the YouTube channel, when this dropped, we're sitting at about 16,000 dislikes right now. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I kind of like seeing that. All right. So, um, right now, the dislikes, and I've done my part, but the dislikes are pretty high right now. Okay. So, let's get back to the list. But as far as the face scans go, I, I can I can do without them face scans, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, what's the point of you trying to show how, how good these face scans look? But you don't do it for the entire NFL, NFL. You don't do it for the entire NFL. Just only the popular players or somewhat popular players. Everybody else, they don't get that treatment. You know, so face scans, that's cool and all, but I'm not impressed. Do better. Um, next. So we're going to look at Austin Eckler, right? So two things in this clip. I want to talk about how they kind of got this thing where the O-line, you know, calls themselves trying to push you forward now. Now, Mad 23, it might have been there. It may have, may have not. But I think the O-linemen weren't doing the pushing. I think it was just more or less the players that were around that were doing the pushing. Other than the O-linemen, everyone else was doing the pushing whenever you, like, got into, like, a struggle or something like that. So they're trying to showcase that that's cool and all to tell you the truth it's kind of unnecessary in this clip because Austin Eckler himself isn't he's not a weak running back he could he could literally bowl through that man his damn self if you know how big Austin Eckler is pause so you got that and then when he finally gets into the end zone I want you to look at when he's flexing y'all I don't understand why why is it that in Madden when it comes to the the pads moving in 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 correlation with the body why is it that you guys can never get the pads to look natural on a body you guys have the worst player models in history maximum football has pads has pad shelving or whatever you want to call it they have it right on their players you have indie game do you have any game companies indie game companies ladies and gentlemen not triple a like ea sports and all of them you have any game companies like people at Modus over there doing maximum football, everyone over there when they're doing axes. Why does the patch shelf look, look the patch shelf looks better over there than it does on Madden? Look at the way he's flexing. Why do the pads look like that? Why do they look like there are balloons on his shoulders? You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, Austin Eckler is not skinny. That is a beefy dude. You know what I'm saying? Pause again if that's worthy. But that is a that's a beefcake. 
You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, that's a hefty dude. But when you got him flexing, you make it seem like he has no muscle mass to him whatsoever. That is a beefy dude, bro. Like, y'all to start putting some respect on some of these player models, bro. Y'all have to. Because the way that y'all disrespect some of these players right now, it's very disgusting. And you wonder why you get the hate that you do for it. But people swear up and down and people just, the, oh, we just hate on it because that's the quote-unquote cool thing to do. No, you guys don't understand detail. You don't. That's why 2K5 and 2K8 always get brought up in conversation because they paid attention to detail and they did it right the first time. That's why we always harp on that. But we're going into Madden 24, you guys still can't get the detail right. And before any of y'all even jump in the comments and y'all say, oh, well, the game hasn't even came out yet. The beta hasn't even came out yet. So how could you sit there and say all oh, this stuff? Why are you judging it? You haven't even played it yet. The things can change. Ladies and gentlemen, let's cut the crap now. Let, let's let's stop the crap now okay you know good and damn well every single year that the beta comes out whether it's open or closed every single time that it comes out they change maybe one or two things or i could probably count on one hand or both hands how many things did they change but majority of the time what you see in that beta is what you're going to see in the final product the only thing they're going to do is make it to where it's more stable and it doesn't crash like like it was before that's the only thing they're going to do but whatever you see in that beta you're going to see that in the final game so stop telling me about, oh, well, you you can't judge it because you haven't played it. It hasn't even came out yet. Shut up. Because history will repeat itself. If you look at the track record, every single year they've done the same exact thing. Stop telling people what they should and shouldn't do. It's going to be the same exact thing this year like it was the last year, like it was the last year, like it was the last year. Or the year before that you know what i mean but you get what i'm trying to say so please stop with the what with, with the with the captain and the and the 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 captain save a whole mentality stop it okay this madden is garbage it's terrible i told y'all in the video i said and i'm pin it up here don't fall for it man 24 don't fall for it and i said that for a reason because if you look at these clips you see that a lot of the times they're trying to do like this this crafty cut here cut there slow down here slow down there speed it up there they try to do this crafty camera work and they're trying to paint it as something that's a oh this is a a new addition this is a more improved madden when all honesty it's the same crap it's the same thing you know what i mean so let's keep moving on you got Fred Warner, and uh, he's tackling this guy, and it's supposed to be this new um, in the gridiron notes, which I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that. Also, I'm gonna break that down in another video. Um, he's doing like this scoop tackling thing, right? So, uh, so what I'm guessing is they have more tackle animations that are that have more of a scoop tackle like mentality. So if you know you know what that is, you know what it is. So they're showing that. Um, another thing that they're trying to also showcase is the impact blocking. So I'm guessing now that they're trying to show us that we've now tried to give more power to impact blocking because the blocking just seems like it wasn't as effective as it was last year. So they're trying to do these crackback blocks now all of a sudden. And and uh, I'm going to be so real with y'all too, man. I know I say that a lot, but I'm being so honest right now. You know, a lot of that stuff doesn't matter because... What is the point of impact blocking if you're not going to follow your assignment? It's not about impact all the time. It's all it's literally it's literally about following your assignment, right? If you're a fullback, I'm following you. You're creating daylight. That's your job. Your job is to not try to put somebody on their ass every single chance you get. If you can do it, cool. But if not, create daylight for me. They're gonna teach you how to properly block before you start thinking you just land shoulders into people. Because if you don't know how to actually engage on a block, you're gonna whiff 10 times out of 10. You know what I mean? So with them trying to show us, oh yeah, we got this new impact blocking now, blocking, blah, 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 blah. You're not understanding blocking because you're missing a key and pivotal important step. You have to engage. You have to follow your blockers. You have to understand your assignments. It's not about putting some out on their ass 10 times out of 10 when you see them. And then even then, like I said, you're gonna whiff because they're gonna catch wind of you trying to do that. Now, these right here that you're seeing, now these could just be crackback blocks or or, or blindside hits or blocks, whatever you wanna call it. We'll just call them crackback blocks for the time being. But, you know, you can say these are crackback blocks. All right, cool. Now. The one clip I want to show you is the Eagles clip. Now I'm gonna loop it up and I, I'm, I'm gonna just break it down to you because see, this is the same si same situation, same scenario of when Jalen Hurts rolled out. Remember, it was like it was kind of like a uh, 
it was like an option, right? It's kind of like the same scenario, except he's passing the ball this time. So you got the linebacker coming off the line, and he's trying to get to Jalen Hurts, right? You see Goddard literally running back down to where Jalen Hurts is, circling back around, and then, bam, hitting a crackback block on the linebacker. Now, a crackback block, if you're setting it up in the play, that's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's not how that works. And I, I'm I'm gonna break that down. But let me just try to like sim like sum it up and simplify as much as I can. When you're doing a crackback block, you're motion to the outside. You're 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 a wide out. You go from tight end to wide out. You can't be on the line. So when you're whenever you're running that, you're not going up or you're not coming down. You have no you have no reason to go up the field or turn back around. You have no reason to do that. You're pretty much setting like it sounds like a pick and roll kind of sort of. You know what I'm saying? You come down and Jalen Hurts or your quarterback is supposed to run to your side or whatever, but the guy who's on the wide out, whether it's a wide receiver or a tight end, he's the one that's going to set that pick, a hard one, i.e. a crack back, and then he's going to pretty much put you on your ass, right? Uh, That's what he's trying to do. But if you look at Goddard, it literally looks like somebody controlled him to go up, come back down, circle around, and then bam, that's an impact block right there. For, for the video clip. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it looks like it doesn't make sense. Like, you guys are forcing it so hard to the point where the play itself that you guys drew up doesn't even make sense. That's not how you do a crackback. That's not that's not even how you set that up on the play. I'm sure of it. I'm, I'm so sure of it. And like I said, I, I'll, I'll make a video on it to, like, better, have a better um, explanation of how a, a crackback block works on the play. But, you know, seeing that, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I hate it so much because you guys try to force it every single year. Y'all want to y'all want us to know that so hard are these new things you guys add and they suck. You want us to give y'all props so bad for for trying to for trying to do something. I'm sick of that, bro. I, I'm sick of y'all trying to 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 make it seem like you guys are improving every year. You're not. You're not, bro. You you improve this game in in patches in very small patches very small patches and they're damn near unnoticeable but we're gonna keep moving on the next thing i want to talk about ladies and gentlemen i'm so glad we're at this point now we gotta talk about that stupid pat mahomes pass bro Uh, ea like i said again you guys are forcing this y'all are forcing this animation in what scenario did it call for pat mahomes for pat mahomes to run straight up him break down like he's stumbling and then he dives to throw a pass. Pat Mahomes has done that probably on, I can count maybe one hand or both hands. He, he's done that a good handful of times, but that's not his, his signature, his go-to or ability or whatever. You guys have got to stop forcing that. There is no reason to ever have that. There's no reason to ever have it. Unless, and the only thing I can think of is, is if you're trying to, which this is gonna be another can animation, I can see it, but if you're running, and a guy happens to hit you and you trip up and you can still get the ball out of your hands while he's diving like that, like a, some sort of a last ditch effort. That's the only way I can ever see, see him doing that. But when you have nobody behind you, there's only a guy that's in front of you and you go from a stand up, you know, full stride and everything to now you breaking down, you, you break your own self down into this this crouching damn near i'm getting ready to fall oh i'm about to trip up now let me try to get this ball out of here Ugh. like come on bro you're forcing it you are forcing it to the 10th degree this is a stupid animation this is a very dumb animation there's no use for it i i've played so many games of madden i still would never see a use for that you know what i'm saying you already have us throwing out of passes already you know what i mean so what purpose does this serve that's the stupidest animation you guys could have ever done. There are 50 million different things you guys could have done, but adding that was, was your best idea? That's a stupid animation. Somebody on Twitter was like, oh my God, this is so tough. It is stupid. It is pointless. There's no point of having it. The guy was even in front of him. He don't even know how to react to it. He jumps in the air like the ball from the, the ball is literally going to go 20-something odd feet in the air. He just jumps straight up to try to swat the ball. When really, he don't even have to do anything. He just, just put his hands in the general area. He don't have to jump for nothing because the trajectory of the pass didn't even call for him to do that. But 
Y'all swearing down that this is such a cool animation. It's stupid and it's going to get old real quick. If you guys decide to add this in here on some, on some, oh yeah, this is Pat Mahomes special ability. You guys are doing the wrong things. Y'all are worrying about the wrong things. This is a dumb animation. There's nothing cool about it at all. I'm not impressed. Next thing on the list. Uh, let's see. Uh, more celebrations. You know what I mean? Y'all, y'all are so hell bent on adding celebrations. Like that's supposed to just. Like that's supposed to just be so satisfying to play Madden and be able to celebrate with your team and it's cringy. It's very cringe. Whoever you gotta do a motion capture has no rhythm at all whatsoever. They're all awkward. You don't have actual players coming in. I'm talking about like actual players, players. We're not talking about people who played in college and, and they didn't make it or they're playing the uh, the semi-pro or or they're playing overseas in the XFL or they're playing in Canada League and, and they're able to be a uh, motion capture talent. We're talking about actual NFL players who actually played it, who actually are either playing in the NFL or have played in the NFL, but they don't have no rhythm at all whatsoever. It all looks cringe. Stop trying to force the, the celebrations down our throat. I don't give a damn about celebrations. I could care less. I would love to go back to the days where it was at random, what your guy did. Hell, back in the NCAA, remember you used to be able to hold a button and you can do either a light, normal, or you could do a heavy celebration. A, he a heavy celebration to get you to 10 yards back or, a or 15 yards back, a sportsman like Honda. Remember that? I would rather I take it back to that. Rather than me having to sit here and my guy, I have to flick the right stick up, down, left or right to get him to celebrate. Or he'll just pick one on his own. Like, I don't care about the celebrations, bro. Who cares? You're wasting space on something that we can really do without. You're wasting space, bro. I could care less about celebrations. They don't do nothing for me. Because trust me, they're going to get old really fast. And I think people should understand that these celebrations get old very fast. I'd say within, within the month, if not the month, a few weeks, a few weeks, Man 24 celebration is going to get old really quick. Um, let's see. I'm seeing more canned animations from rack and aggressive catches that are making DBs whiff. You know what I'm saying? Like you see um, Tyreek Hill, right? Or as another wide receiver that he caught the ball and it's one of those ones where you throw the ball and you catch it. And it's this can animation to where you catch the ball, but the DB or the guy who's covering him, he whiffs, right? And in that same animation, you spin around him or you walk around him or whatever in all in one animation before you take back player control. These can animations are gonna be the death of the game. I'm telling you, like it was like that last year and the year before last. These can animations gotta go, all right? I'm really starting to think that we're getting away from physics. I, a matter of fact, I think there's, there isn't even any physics involved. You know what I mean? But like I said, we're going to talk about the gridiron notes in another video. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm seeing more animations with those. Um, and, and Josh Allen in that final clip, dog, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all do a whole lot of meat hugging. I, I swear y'all do. Because what did Jalen, I'm not Jalen, I'm sorry. What did Josh Hurts, Josh Hurts, oh my God. It, okay, I, I'm going to say this now. Jalen Hurts should have been the cover vote. I'm not even saying that's an Eagles fan, but come on, bro. It, it literally, it literally should have been Jalen Hurts. That's that's what it should have been. If you want to make it Pat Mahomes again, then it should have been Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts did more than Josh Allen. You know what I mean? So that's why his name is on my mind because that's who should have been on the cover. Not no damn Josh Allen. Because what has Josh Allen done? Josh Allen ain't go to no damn Super Bowl. You know what I mean? If you got, if you, if you were on the cover of Madden, you did something prestigious. You did something great. You did something groundbreaking right like Jalen Hurts that man punched all through the season got to the Super Bowl of course we didn't win but hell that's that's remarkable somebody that came in as a backup to uh to Car Carson Wentz somebody that came up as a backup to him played maybe one or two however many downs he played and then it was okay we're gonna start Jalen Hurts now and then he sat there and built himself up built up built up built up and took us all into the Super Bowl how's that how's that not as remarkable how? how how are you gonna sit here and tell me with a straight face that jalen hurts didn't do as much as josh allen did josh allen didn't do a damn thing compared to jalen hurts so why does he get the cover but it's cool you know what i'm saying maybe the man curse is still still alive and well i don't know so maybe we're dodging a bullet on that it's cool it's cool i ain't really tripping on that but back to that final clip with josh allen ladies and gentlemen i don't know 
what in the hell we got when it comes to this uh this this Josh Allen clip of him stiff arming a guy and and Patrick Queen or Mick Queen whatever his name is Patrick Queen um I was calling Patrick um him getting stiff armed into the end zone like like Josh Allen is that guy cut the crap bro cut it out Josh Allen is good don't get it twisted but he not no damn Derek Henry to be doing all of that let's let's relax on that let's let's calm down let's calm down bro josh allen is not all that let's let's cut the crap all right let's let's stop but like i said man another video we're going to talk about the gridiron notes that followed right after this and uh yeah we're going to talk about that in detail so make sure um if y'all don't do anything else in this video man go over there drop y'all dislike on that video and um yeah man let, let ea know how we really feel about the game because you know, honestly, I'm not impressed, and I'm not going to be impressed no time soon because you got suck at your job. You're, you're terrible at it. You put out the same mediocre product every single year, and you expect us to just act like 23 didn't happen. You expect us when 25 comes out, you make us, you try to make us think that 24 didn't happen. Stop playing us like we're stupid. Stop robbing people of their money. Now, I understand people are going to willingly give you, willingly give you their money, but you got people that are very skeptical of giving you their money. But you're trying to play on our intelligence and make it seem like you've improved from Man 23 when you didn't do a damn thing. You guys suck. But let me know your thing in the comment section down below, man. I'm going to get up out of here. Make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy Jay Devon, and I'm signing out. Peace.